In this video, I'll be reviewing Brothers, A Tale of Two Sons, which is probably the best indie game out there in terms of using game mechanics to tell a story. However, it's impossible to explain exactly what makes it so great without spoiling the game, so this review will be a little more vague than some of my other ones. I strongly recommend you go into this game with as few spoilers as possible, because the experience is significantly better without these spoilers, and the game can be potentially ruined if you find the wrong spoiler. In that light, this video will obviously be as spoiler-free as it can be. So as an overview of the gameplay basics, you follow the story of two brothers as they go on a journey to get medicine for their sick father. The younger and older brother have different abilities and personalities which play out as you interact with the world around you. For example, the older brother is stronger and can move levers or other things in the environment the older brother can't. On the other hand, the younger brother is smaller and can do things the older brother can't, such as squeeze between bars and stuff like that. You can use these two brothers to solve the various puzzles on your journey in order to get the medicine. Puzzles themselves are usually pretty straightforward, so you don't really get stuck at all. And the journey itself travels through lots of parts of this mystical world in a pretty linear fashion. Each section of the game has different environment and types of puzzles that you have. You start in the farmlands, you pass the ruins, you pass through the land of giants, all on your quest to get the medicine. The gameplay itself is pretty good and enjoyable, but it doesn't really sell the game by itself. But as I mentioned before, the way that the game tells the story through game mechanics is something that I have never found in any other game that I've played. It's the one game that I finished and I was like, wow, that was incredible. I did not expect it to be that good. The game really builds on itself throughout, and especially near the end, it really comes together and makes this cohesive, great game. I strongly recommend that you play this game with a controller. That part is almost necessary in order to get the full experience, and I recommend you play it by yourself and in one playthrough. The controls of the game are a little clunky. You control one brother with each side of the controller, which is a very unique setup and takes a while to get used to. But the controls are set up that way for a reason that helps with the game itself. I found that putting the little brother on the right side of the screen makes things easier because you use the right side of the controller in order to move the little brother. And for some reason, having the little brother on the right side using the right side of the controller just makes things less confusing. The game itself is about three hours long, and I strongly recommend that you complete it in one sitting for the best effect and the best overall experience. And while there are two separate brothers, it's really meant to be played by one person. It's not a two-person game, it's a single-person game. So I really recommend that you play this game if you're into short indie games, even a small amount. The gameplay and the environment are really nice, but the game really shines with its unique way of storytelling and the emotional story arc. You can pick up this game for a couple of hours on sale quite frequently, so for example I think it's on sale on the Humble Store right now for $3, and it's definitely worth it at that price. And again, really important, if you're interested in this game, avoid spoilers as best as you can and go play it for yourself because spoilers can really ruin the overall game experience. Please like this video if you found this somewhat vague review helpful or enjoyable, and I'll link some playlists of my other reviews in the description down below that you can check out. Thanks for watching.